Imagine being born in an area filled with nothing but bombs, soldiers, and chaos. Now imagine being in this scenario, in a small cramped apartment, trying to survive with a full family who are desperately hoping to make it through. This is exactly the start to the two-time MVP and NBA champ story, Nikola Jokic. The Kosovo War. The war that lasted from February 1998 to June 1999, fought between the forces of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia and the Kosovo Liberation Army. This war would devastate many lives living in and around the areas the war was taking place, leaving many towns and buildings destroyed. Many people were faced to live in extremely tough situations. One of those people who were deeply affected by the bombings of the war is none other than Nikola Jokic and his family. Growing up living in a war-ridden area, Nikola Jokic stayed in a cramped apartment with his two brothers, his parents, and his grandma. But with the war currently going on, living in a cramped apartment was the least of their problems. The bombings would leave the Jokic family without electricity for weeks. With living in these conditions, Jokic would grow a strong bond and connection with his family, especially his two older brothers. Luckily, the Jokic family was able to safely make it through the NATO bombing. After the war happened, Nikola Jokic would soon develop a passion for horse racing. And with his brothers being basketball players, Nikola Jokic naturally picked up a passion for the game of basketball as well. But as some people would probably think, Jokic wasn't fully invested in basketball as you would think most two-time MVPs would be at his age. He fell in love with the sport of horse racing, but despite not having much experience, Nikola Jokic was able to have slight early success in the sport. This would lead him to question if he wanted to pursue basketball or horse racing due to the love he gained for it. But lucky for us all, Jokic decided to pursue a career in basketball due to his brother's influence. With joining Vaj Regina's youth basketball team, he started gaining attention rather quickly. He was able to perform well for his youth team, putting up insane numbers like he's doing currently. Due to his dominant play at the youth level, in 2012, when Jokic was 16 years old, he was able to sign a mega basket and play for their junior team. With him obviously being better than those around him, he was able to exceed expectations and dominate winning the MVP for their junior league. This allowed him to move up to the senior team later on that year. This was where Jokic would get his early professional experience, averaging around 11 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists in the Adriatic League. He was able to prove that he could produce for a team on a professional level. With showcasing his basketball IQ and skills during his experience with Mega Basket, he would later on be scouted by many teams, including Barcelona, where he was supposedly supposed to play. In one of the games he was being scouted, he completely sucked. This would end up delaying Jokic from signing to Barcelona, but apparently, Barcelona wasn't the only team that had their eyes on him. The Denver Nuggets decided to take a chance on the Serbian big and made a decision to draft Jokic, and as most fans know, his draft night wasn't as fairytale as others. Due to the fact that he got drafted during the Taco Bell commercial. In fact, due to him being overseas during the draft night, Jokic was actually asleep when he got drafted. If it wasn't for his older brothers calling him, he probably would have woke up the next day not knowing that he was an NBA player. The transition to the NBA wasn't all that fun for Jokic. Being a big dude who clearly is not the most athletic player in the league, he felt overwhelmed by the athleticism and the fast pace of the NBA. This would lead him to want to quit the NBA and go back home to Serbia, but with the help of his two loving brothers, they convinced Jokic to stay and give the NBA another chance. And it's safe to say, this is probably one of the greatest pieces of advice Jokic decided to take. If you like documentaries like these and you want more, please get this video to at least 50 likes. Comment down below the players you want me to do a documentary on next. And if you haven't, again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank y'all for watching.